Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the main account. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are Diamond 1. So, very good. Um, it's going very well, obviously. Um, we're playing Briar, first jungle game of the day. We're against an Udyr, but that's auto-filled. Not a good Vex player, but in theory should be good against Neferi. There is an, an auto-filled... No, well, I don't know, not auto-filled, but an Anivia support, which is a bit weird. But we'll see how it goes. Some strong picks on the enemy team, no doubt. Against Senna is incredibly strong right now. Um, but we will see. I'm a bit... Uh... Yeah, we'll see. It would be nice if we can win. Obviously, when you get promoted, the first thing you obviously want to do, and I know it's very obvious to say, but you want to get away from zero LP. We're five LP right now. So I just want to get... If we win this game, we're further away from zero. And that is just a nice thing all round. Do, do, do. Thoughts on the old vampire this season? What, Vlad? Um, I've only seen a couple of Vlads, and he seems to be pretty hit or miss, but that just seems Vlad in general, to be honest. If he can have kind of a free early game and there's no snowballing in his, like, not favour, I think he can do pretty well. But I think he can struggle if the game kind of just snowballs away from him a bit too much. Also, I'm not going to wake her up, but I know the YouTube audience likes to see her. This is what currently Maya is like next to me. So again, she's very tired from the dog field. And this is what I call her kangaroo pose. So yeah, she's been sleeping, by the way, this whole time I've been streaming. So she's been sleeping for two and a half hours. Typically, when I take her to a dog field and she's like running her head off for half an hour, she will typically sleep for about five hours. So it gives me a free five hour stream. So it works. It works. Did anyone catch what Nivea skin? Uh, Victorious, yeah. Hey, what? Why has she got arcane? Co that is there. Eh? Arcane? Is that normal? Anyone know? Again, hilariously, the game before this dodged. I was going to play a game of Nefari. I don't think arcane comets a thing, but I also might be wrong. That just sounds like the wrong runes. I tell YouTube about the calendar. Uh, well, basically, okay, fine. As people may know, we do a thing, uh, a yearly event here on Twitch called a subathon. And obviously, I've mentioned before, I want hopefully this year to be a climbing year as a content creator, and hopefully, I can do this for another few years. But I also have to come to terms like it might be my last year as a full time content creator. I don't know. It is becoming harder and harder to do. And it's very stressful when, you know, it's not going insanely well, you know? Um, anyway, so this subathon, which will be at the end of June, and I invite people from the YouTube audience to come over and say hello. We might be doing the, or hoping to have our biggest ever subathon. We're going to have amazing goals and guides, uh, and prizes, sorry. Um, I'm actually going to be giving away some of the exclusive things that Riot send me, just simply because I don't have enough storage room for all of it. But we are officially, and I know it's not probably a big, it's not really made it to YouTube, but my Twitch community for some reason for quite a long time has been obsessed with the idea of me doing a calendar. I'd take first blood. Shame I died, though. A real Ronis says, hello, governor. Dude, Udyr's damage, though. What the heck? Why does Udyr do so much damage? Because I swear every Udyr... Oh, God, the fairy's already top lane. That's hilarious. Um, and yes, we'll do a calendar. It will be a goal. It's going to be a very big goal to do it. Uh, but it will have a sexy twist, which is kind of the joke. And the way that I've already thought about how I would do it is if anyone knows those like firemen charity calendars, they're definitely like things here in the UK. It's like implied sexiness that you kind of position yourself behind things to hide certain things. That's probably the way that I'll do it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know the logistics 
if I'll literally be doing it in my own house in different settings or will I rent somewhere? I've got no idea. And this is why, again, it has to be a very big goal because I don't know how I'm even going to do it. I didn't. I'll merch partner Teespring. I don't even... Do they do calendars? Obviously, that will make it easy if they just do calendars and we can print them with that. I have no idea. These are all things that we need to look into properly, but... We will see. Yeah, I'm level 5. I'm thinking of going to Grubs now, but there's a very high chance that Uda is already there. And the problem that we've got is Vex is being pushed in. Oh, where the hell's he? Hidden Hobbit, 34 months. Thank you very much, dude. I hope I see him bot lane in a second. I'm just very worried. If I see Neferi leave mid lane, I'm worried, you know? Cassante's got lane prior, though, so that's really big for us. Oh, dear. Like, I needed some help, guys. Like, I hate playing jungle, and I hate getting ignored. And this Vex is like, oh, I've not got any mana health. Yeah, maybe go back and time your TP to come help the grubs. You know, like, play to the modern game. It's really irritating that the amount of times that you're just left on one of them by yourself. And you're not going getting any help from your laners. So irritating. She used her ultimate. I got two of them, so it still benefits us more. It's just annoying because we could have maybe fought it if our laners were ready. Is the new Hydra not good on Briar? It might be. I've heard the item is obviously very strong. I don't think I've built it on her yet. Doesn't mean it's not strong, though. And if you're actually going back, really? Now that I think about it, fighters are honest, but it's the liars who start war. What's Ezreal doing? That Ezreal eed in without any escape and then just stood still. Ezreal doesn't seem fantastic. Oh dear. Yeah, and Ezreal's, to be fair, without trying to sound punny, a very hit or miss. Some Ezreals are like literal gods and then some of them are just bad. I don't know what about that champion attack, like, attracts that type of player, but... I pushed her. This is good for us. We get three kills. So hopefully that will untilt the Ezreal if he was a little bit tilted. That's good. Shame I die, but... It's for what we call... The greater good. Right, I'm going to start down here. The reason I'm going to ignore wolves right now is we've got these in a minute. So I don't think I've got enough time to kill that, 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 and that. I think I've got enough time to clear these three, though. I'm, just, I'm pinging it, by the way, just to make it very apparent to my laners. These exist. Please be aware. And please help me. Because obviously last time... They didn't come over and help.
There is a scuttle crab alive on it right now. That ult was simply just... Oh my god, really, dude? You can't fight me as easy as you think. Zuda has been really cocky. Really cocky, you dear. She's doing it again. This Vex does not time herself at all for objectives, so I cannot trust this player. Really sucks, because like I'd imagine... We're about to get three manned by the enemy team. I'd be shocked if we don't. It's really good bot lane. There's one. All right, we. Right now we have four. I could just leave right now and accept they're gonna get one, but I want to get more. All right. And look, Cassante stayed with me. Thank you. He might be on dragon, which I don't really care about the first dragon, so I'm, I'm, I'm happily, happily would take that trade. Yeah, this Vex, I don't quite... Yeah, he was. I don't quite trust this Vex, unfortunately. Dude, that's a lot of people. They got Neela, but they're all bot lane. I think my bot lane should have been maybe a bit more aware that they were, they were likely coming down. Uda is going to be here, in theory. He was quicker than I thought he was going to be. Thought I could have got to him in the river. Guess it is a new deer and they're known to be quite fast. Wait, did Vex overstay now in mid? Dude, this Vex. Oh! Hey, Wingless Evil Age, your 101 months tier one says number goes up. That's a very big number. Thank you very much, dude, for the long term support. Yeah, my trust in the Vex basically doesn't exist. She's never timed herself to be with us on Grubs, which is very important. And then just overstays like that for no reason in mid lane. So yeah, trust level below. Briar's top lane. What? Now it's going to hit. Ooh, it nearly did. Should I get that new... What's everyone say? The new Tiamat everyone thinks is really strong. Do I try that? Pro Profane Hydra. Do you think that's going to be good on her? Because normally I'd go Collector now. You know? Maybe I go Collector and then Profane Hydra. What does it do? Profane Hydra. So it's a cleave and you press it and then deal damage and then it's an execute for low health. I mean, that could be strong. It gives you an extra thing to press as well because sometimes, hilariously on this champion, you don't have things to press. I am worried about this, Ezreal. He seems like tilted. Can you stop her basing? Stop her basing, stop her basing. Thank you. See, there's no minion wave. Oh, well. T back away! Who's that? Nefari. Overstay by you, missus. That TP weight was really wasted by Nefari. Wait, are my team actually coming over to help on an objective? Damn, that Udyr damage is bonkers. Udyr out damages me and I'm playing Briar and I'm fairly strong. Okay. That's kind of nuts. Why is Udyr doing that much damage? Yeah, and the enemy team did have more people about. 
which has been kind of a key theme in this game so far, is that the enemy team is just doing better as a team. <coughs> that, was, that damage is nuts. Macarena. I'm happy I actually didn't get that kill because like what? even though it would have been nice and I can hopefully snowball more I know the Ezreal mental has been a little bit iffy so if that just helps his mental getting kills getting pretty fed then I'm all for it dude you're running away from me Ooh, that Gwen damage. What the heck? I didn't get my W activated. That's why I also took a lot of damage. Okay. Hilariously, I used it and it was just out of range of activating, I think. Dude has got ghosts, so he can't, unless he boinks over, he can't escape. Even though if there is a boink available, sometimes they won't take it because they know they'll die after. Eleven. Oh, that's a lot of people. Oh, really good fear. What the heck? The enemy team just run forward without a care in the world. Bizarre. Nivea support? Eh, so-so. It doesn't seem like it's incredible, to be honest. Which again, doesn't really surprise me either. Even kill the Gwen. She seems quite, like, perma-fighty. She's running to death, so. This Gwen doesn't really have, uh... No, she's strong, but... She just kind of dies a lot. Look at that healing in one camp. I nearly just healed to full health doing one camp. Ghost Cassante thing. Uh, Cassante's mainly taken ghosts now for quite a while. This might be a mistake. Don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. Thank God. I was going to die if that hit. Because I would have been straight into four people. Sometimes it is funny when you're playing Brian, you're like, oh god, that, don't do it. Oh god, Gwen, her damage is far high. Ha 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 yeah. Oh, sorry, puppy. I woke her up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm going to try it. <laughs> We're just being outnumbered because Vex is in a world of her own. Like, I'm not sounding... Not trying to say it too bad, but this Vex is useless. There's nothing in mid lane positive and now is split pushing by herself as a Vex. What's the point? 
You can understand a Cassante doing it. He's a top laner. A Vex doing it. Yeah, I have no idea. Can't really understand what she's doing. We need vision on this. Uncle Roger. Wait, what? She crushed it into the wall. <laughs> she crushed it into the wall, so it's not got much health. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That genuinely might not even get there now to, to do damage. Everyone just got red. Vex spawned and instantly ran back top. I was partially thinking, like, oh, maybe she's just going top lane to get that tower and then she'll start grouping. She spawned and then instantly ran top lane again. Thank God that hit the kneeler. That's what I have to say about that. Jesus. Okay, we need to group up. The groupie, groupie, groupie. Groupie, groupie, groupie. Yeah. That Vex seems very weak. Oh, I should have released my E, but we aced them. It's fine. Nice. Ooh. Do I, try? I don't even know if I want to try that new build. I know this one is strong. Senna's really strong right now. She is definitely one of the strongest champs in the game. Don't try new. I think I'm going to stick to what I know. I know this build is crazy. This is the build that I nearly got a pentakill on. I'm just going to stick with that. The good thing is the whole enemy team, apart from Senna, is like really melee melee. And we have an Anivia. So like our Anivia support is actually very, you know, regardless of being a support or not, she's just handy to have. That ain't bad damage. Holy heck. Oh, dude. Oh. This Nefari is a weird player. We're going 3v1 into our team. Now, that basically was just straight up inting. I'm not going to lie. In what world is that going to do anything? Uh, Baron? And remember, Udyr can't even get in here because he doesn't have Flash. The hell is his build, though? His build is weird. Triforce, Frozen Heart, and then what? Collector? The hell is that build? No idea. It seems a little bit I'm going to make up this build as I go. So you got Neela split pushing as a team fighting AD carry. The sign of tilt. The sign of tilt is on the enemy team. I'll probably go GA next. If I get the next item and the game is still going on, for my next item, it'll be GA. Because like... Briar has to go in completely to do anything, so I have to keep doing that. But the the later the game goes on, the more likely I myself am also going to get one shot. So, yeah, likely... Likely would go GA.
Oh my god, that Cassante push was really good. I pet that dog. Can I pet that dog? I literally run around the house saying that about my own. She's like, she finds it funny, but she's like, run away from daddy. I pet that dog. I pet that dog. Again, if you don't know what we're talking about, it's a TikTok of a little girl with a very funny, like, country accent from America in like a log cabin looking over and going can i pet that dog and it's a bear <laughs> it's not a dog <laughs> oh, i love it so much hey thank you much i at uh i at thanks so much for the 500 biddies it's like a baby bear but it's a bear hello lads gg nice Again, I didn't have the best KDA. I had 10 assists as a Briar. A lot of my, like, plays were good. And some of them I just survived by using my E and my team would get the kill, which is fine. So we're in Diamond 1. We just got promoted. The last two games, I think we roughly worked out I would gain 20 LP for both of them. Let's see what we get. Ah, 20. We've gained 20 in the last two. Again, anything above Emerald now in rank, plus or minus 20 is the average. So we're just at the average now. Yeah, it is what it is. Here we go, 6, 6, 10, 12, 15 point nearly 3k damage. Uh, yeah, Vex does the least damage on our team. That doesn't surprise me. She just wasn't doing much. Um, Ezra does the most. And Nivea does second most. And then me. Uh, we did, um, the fairy did more damage than me. Oh, no, she didn't. Sorry. Uh, Gwen did more damage than me, and that is it. And then, yeah, Udid, did, it sem seemed it like Udir's damage fell off. Like, his early damage was insane, but then he just kind of fell off. I think if you want to maintain that damage, you don't go Frozen Heart second. You just... Not interrupting anything, am I? Yes, you are. God damn it. Um, you need to continue building damage, but, uh, yeah, Udir didn't, so his damage fell off. But uh, yeah, really good game. Briar's still good, obviously. And I will say, by the time this video comes out, this is pre-patch. Um, from what I've seen, and I don't look up patch notes too much ahead because I like kind of recording it as we go. Um, like, you know, I experience it for the first time too. Um, I don't think Lethality is getting nerfed. So Lethality is still going to be really strong. Storm Surge and some mages and AP melee champions are being nerfed. But a Lethality, I think, is still going to be fantastic. So, Riot have always favoured Lethality. But anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. regime I know how to unleash eternal peace